How is it going guys? Linux Daily back with another distro review. Today's distro review will be taking a look at CentOS. This is a uh, distribution that is mainly used in a server environment. A lot of servers will run uh, the CentOS. It means Community Enterprise Operating System. Community Enterprise Operating System. So that's what Cent stands for. It's open source. It mimics Red Hat Enterprise Linux really well. So when you download it, you can either choose from a minimal ISO or a everything ISO. The minimal one does not include a desktop environment. So once you install it, you're going to be left with just the bash shell. And you have to configure it all through command line. But with the everything ISO, it comes with all the software and with the GNOME desktop environment. It does include the... Uh, the yellow dog update manager yum like what is in uh, Fedora Linux so I'm gonna go boot up a virtual box and do the install and review alright guys here is our grub boot menu we have a couple different options install CentOS 7 test this media and install CentOS 7 and then troubleshooting I'm gonna go ahead and click install so up arrow once and hit the enter key now we are going to boot yeah it's gonna start to boot there's this weird color thing going on that's just a virtual box issue it's gonna boot up here momentarily starting the installer and then we see a mouse pointer all right, here we are at the installer. Welcome to CentOS 7. I'm gonna keep English as the default right here. Just click OK. Wait for some of these uh, things to load really quick. And then there we go. So I'm gonna click here, select this hard disk, and then click Done. So now that that is all set up, go on network and host name, and you see our internet is off. So I'm going to activate that and then click done all right so now that we got all that done all this other stuff looks good now we want to go to software selection so this is more of a server based application and not application I'm server based distribution so we can choose from the minimal install or we can pick some of this other stuff so file and print server basic web server so I'm gonna click that and then I want it to have a the gnome desktop it also includes KDE but I'm gonna pick gnome for this one and I did not select that one oh it looks like we only have one. Oh well so I'll pick gnome and I can install the uh, other stuff later on so now that that is loading it should be anyway. It's just checking software dependencies, probably calling out to the internet or something. It is taking a little while. All right, guys, that took longer than I thought. It was like a couple minutes. But all right, now that we got that, I'm going to click Begin Installation. As you see over here, it's like a GNOME desktop, so that is all good. I'm going to click Begin Installation, and this is where we create users and set the root password. So I'm going to click that, type in a very secure password, and then click Done. Down here, it's saying password is too short. Press Done again if you want to use that. I'm going to do the same here. But this time we're going to make a user called Linux Daily. Keep that as its username. Make this an administrator and then type in another very secure password. All right. Under advanced options, we get select what home directory they get. Specify a user ID, a group ID and then different groups you want it to be a member of. Wheel group is the little one that allows you to be use pseudo commands instead of um, being a normal user. So that is pretty neat. 
and it's again telling me hazard's too short so I'm gonna click done again so this is gonna take a while so I'll get back to you when that is complete alright guys it looks like our installation is complete CentOS is successfully installed and ready for you to use go ahead and reboot to start using it right here click reboot that was a glitchy looking screen so it is going to reboot don't know how long that's gonna take I might have to cut some out alright guys that took a while as well so here is our boot screen I had to cut a lot of that out so I'm gonna go ahead and select our first option here which is sent OS Linux it did have a um, automatic countdown timer but I stopped that for the purpose to show you guys what it the default screen look like so it is going to boot up here's our sent OS boot screen and then here is some post boot stuff that's gonna run I'm gonna go ahead and capture my mouse wait for it to load GNOME is a pretty heavy desktop so licensing information so we're gonna accept that and then our network is correct so finish and then it's going to hopefully bring us to a logon screen yep here we go so Linux daily click that type in a very secure password and log on being a distribution lean more towards the server environment I don't expect there's gonna be a whole lot of software installed so I'm gonna go try to full screen it okay I guess it's not gonna it's not gonna full screen so we're gonna put it back in the scale mode capture again so English again this is more gnome initial setup the gnome initial setup right up there so that is correct and then I'm gonna turn that off that's gotta go off and then I'm not going to hook up an account alright I am ready to go start using sent OS Linux then we got a gnome help page that popped up so this is what it looks like by default applications well it has got quite a few yeah yeah it's got quite a few by default actually I didn't expect there to be this much so it's got Firefox that's most likely the GNOME file browser an application installer let's go shopping so looks like this is going to be our uh, our um, software manager it's probably going to take a little while and there's GNOME yeah the internet or something is holding that up the mouse does some crazy things in scaled mode so yeah the mouse is doing some crazy things in scale mode so that's taking a little while to load we might have to take a look at that a little later yeah I can't get the mouse over scale mode yeah so if you go up here this is what gnome looks like I'm pretty sure I showed a distribution that had gnome earlier so terminal it is white and black by default so white background black test text so yum yeah so yum is our uh, software installer so let's install a package oh I forgot to type the install and then 
Yep, so I could run sudo command, so that worked. HTTPD is a web server client. So if you're going to use this as a web server and you installed GNOME, you would have to install the HTTPD package because you can't select more than one on the initial install. So this is taken. Another app is currently holding the yum lock. So yeah, something is holding it up, so. Probably try it again. No, it's still saying that, so. Figure that one out a little later. So the, again, the um, packages that come pre-installed with CentOS is Firefox web browser, files, your software manager application installer, a help page and a terminal which is necessary to do any administrative tasks on the server you want to use that terminal calculator clocks files and text editor and weather under accessories more help under documentation internet you get empathy which I've never used before and then Firefox again you do not get LibreOffice you get contacts and a dictionary under the office section Sound and video, you get cheese webcam booth and videos. And then under sundry, automatic bug reporting tool, firewall, iced T web control panel, Orca, print settings, and SE Linux troubleshooter. Here, you get some of the same stuff. You get boxes, which is a, I believe is a virtualization platform. Yeah. So, if you're going to run this as a virtualization server, you're going to have multiple servers running on top of this. This is most likely what you would use that or install a virtual box on it. So, let's actually um, go into the system settings. Background. So, you do get the one background. Which I guess is not really a strong point because it's more of a server operating system. You're not looking to have the top of the line best looking distro. So yeah, it's pretty kind of bare bones actually for distributions. Let's see if we can get that uh that um HTTPD started. So, I need to find what that, uh, alright, I think it actually caught on, yep, so it is installing now. So whatever is holding it eventually quit. So if we go to the slash var slash www slash html directory. I'm going to make a very basic, I'm going to switch to my root user really quick. I'm going to make a very basic HTML little test page just to see how well this works. I think VI is installed. Yep, so. So I need to put a an exclamation point there and then right just this is a test then just in a lower font I'm not going to use um CSS because this is kind of going to be a crappy website just a very basic HTML script I cannot type to save my life today. So we got our index.html created. So now what we should do is um, systemctl start and then httpd. Alright, so it is started. It did not throw us an error. Now let's go to Firefox. 
it's more than likely going to bring up sent home page yep sent os.org but if we type in local host we see we got our website that we our little website that we made so it will work as a web server you probably want to open up port 80 under the firewall tool let's try to do that really quick just because it's probably good to good to try out type in a secure password again all right so we got a couple different zones here public we got DHCP client got a bunch of other different stuff let's enable HTTP port 80 and allow that in so more than likely clicking that would allow a uh, port 80 access so if you're running this as a public web server and you got your public IP through uh, your router with NAT or something however you convert your private IP to a public IP or if you just install um, configure this as your public IP address and then you enable that people outside your network should be able to contact your web server so I'm not gonna worry about that because this is gonna stay in a virtual box and we've got four lines of HTML so really easy to start up a web server though and then to stop the web service just systemctl stop httpd so making a web server on CentOS is actually really easy my mouse is doing some weird things again I can't move it over come on mouse there you go I'm gonna close the terminal so yeah and that was sent OS it's more of a more of a server oriented operating system found this tweak tool actually So you can enable that background location. Yeah, this is just stuff that you can do in the other settings. We could also, um, and that's a laptop setting. This is running on a virtual machine on a desktop computer, so that's weird. So that is just pretty much GNOME tweaks like what we saw in the Fedora video. Change your fonts, keyboard, mouse kind of stuff. So yeah, CentOS is mainly used for a server environment so it doesn't come with a whole lot of stuff by default but that just because it's more of a server not a whole lot of customization but it runs the background services really well now if I was gonna run this as a server I'd probably pick the minimal install without the desktop environment so I could allocate more resources to the services that I wanted to run but if you enjoyed this video I got my top five, I believe, coming, um, it's either top five or pros and cons. I'm pretty sure it's a top five, though. It's coming tomorrow. So I'll catch you there.